Hi everyone. This video, we're going to learn how to use our bird watching app on our mobile devices. So you can see this is a successfully connected bird box camera inside the bird box. And now I'm going to use one of our mobile devices and operate the app for you guys. So this is an iPhone. We can find the app in app stores or Google Play stores. It's really easy. Just search for ICC. And now this is the login interface once we have activated the app and we're going to connect to this bird box camera. So the login interface, you can see the username and password, sign up, login, every a lot of features and we're going to do a quick login. And now you can see that this camera has been connected to our list already. And you can see there is also mobile storage here on the bottom. This is for all of the other kind of notifications and messages. And now right top right here, we can add devices on the top right. There are five or six ways to add different bird box cameras. And then here is just a different way to display our camera. Now let's go inside and see the camera. You can see this is the live video feed of our camera. You can see it's really clear and we can change the resolutions on the second selection here. So it's like HSD and FHD. And then here on the fourth selection, it's like a scissor. This is for shooting a short video for you to share with your friends. And then after that, it will be, after you click it again, you can save it and you can click here to share. There are many ways to share it. And now this is the fifth one is to flip the screen turn it sideways so it's like full screen method and you can screenshot by clicking tapping on this camera icon now let's go back down here we're at playback on the bottom here is to look at the videos and photos from the past times and now you can take a snapshot as well here really easy this is pretty much on the interface of the camera and now there are a lot of other settings like the network settings, storage management, password management, recording settings, and advanced settings as well. So this is really a lot of features for you to use to kind of make this camera the way you want. And we have been receiving some uh, messages of asking the Google advertisement at the beginning. And I've turned it off already. I'll sh show you guys how to turn it off too. So we, on the bottom right here, you click tap on me and here on tools, you can close to Google advertising. It will display only when the app starts, but you can close it anyways. So this is, this is activated and just deactivated by clicking on it again and keep it like this. All right, that's pretty much it, the basic controlling on our apps. If you guys have any more questions, feel free to leave them at the section below. Thank you guys for watching today and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.